Oh, well. <laughs> la di da la di da In her long and successful career, Diane Keaton has been every woman. From her Academy Award winning role as aspiring singer Annie Hall, to the mafia wife in The Godfather. I always loved you, Michael. To a playwright in the romantic comedy Something's Gotta what Give. I can't decide if you hate me or if you're like the only person who ever really got me. But at age 73, there's one role she's never had. We want to start a cheerleading club. Who will you be cheering for? Ourselves. Did you ever think at this point in your careers you'd be cheerleading? Are you kidding? I'm obviously not. <laughs> I can't even, I, I tried out, you know, when I was like about 13. You did? Yeah, I did. Yeah, of course, they did. I didn't get cast as a cheerleader. Nor did I, I tried out for Pom Pom Girl, too. I failed. Pom's is her new movie about the friendship, love, and determination of an ensemble cast of seniors who dare to dance and cheer. Welcome to Sun Springs Retirement Community. The movie is set in a retirement community where Diane's character reluctantly moves in with a secret. What brings you to Sun Springs? Oh, I'm just here to die. And it's this part of her character that hits close to home. There's a photograph of me as a young person in a cheerleading, and then there's a photograph of my mother, and it's my real mother. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God, that's Aww. weird, isn't it? No, it isn't. That I would have that feeling right now. That's what it's all about. Right? I love yeah. my mother so much. Um, anyway, well, so the, the whole prospect of passing away. So this is why that scene was so important yeah. for me, and also the fact that she created the the background for friendship. Hi. Jackie Weaver is the friend who brings Diane out of her shell. Namaste. Namaste, excuse me, namaste. And saves her. You guys can't compete next to real cheerleaders. Yes, we can. And they love one another. It's really nice to see. The movie also stars Rhea Perlman, who knows a thing or two about cheers. See you at practice. And Celia Weston. I loved it because it's the proprietor's Southern Belle, but underneath is, you know, the steaming viper. <laughs> it wants to kill everybody's joy. What were you all like in high school? I was a, a shy nerd. There was no cheerleading <laughs> where I came from. No. And Diane, I peg you as most likely to succeed. I was in the musicals. I did all of that. That was yeah. uh, everything. And I remember that boys didn't like me, though. That was a, that was Ooh, tough. Boys didn't like really? you? No, I was not. No, I, I didn't have dates. And I, I remember that one guy came up to me um, one day, and he was a big basketball player, and he said, you know, one day you're going to make a good wife. And that's when I decided wow. I'm never going to marry you. Wow. Good for you. Wow. <laughs> I'm not going to make a good wife for you. Pat. What a jerk. And because wow. it was insulting. Why didn't you yeah. say you might be, a, you know, maybe I could be a dateable human? Director Zara Hayes says her goal was to make a movie about women who embrace life at any age. You are all ambassadors of aging gracefully. What do you think the secret is to that? Denial works really well. For me, working out in my entire life has been a great um, way of feeling positive. For me, uh, aging uh, is really about um, filling each day with a lot of activity. I'm, I'm really, you know, ambitious. I have a lot of hobbies. I have a lot of things I'm interested in doing. The only difference between us and the young is that we arrived sooner. The cheerleading club is an example of how you can enrich your life after a certain age. I love you. I love you all. 